Okay, so we're doing class test one from 2018, and we are looking at, we're doing, going to do question two now. Okay. Let v1 be a solution to ax equals b1, and v2 be a solution to ax equals b2. Prove that v1 plus v2 is a solution to ax equals b1 plus b2. Okay. So if you want v1 plus v2 to be a solution to ax equals b1 plus b2, we're going to have to go a v1 plus v2. We're going to want to show that that's equal to b1 plus b2. Okay, but a v1 plus v2 by linearity, you can just make this a v1 plus a v2 because it's a matrix multiplication and it's linear. Then a v1 is b1 and a v2 is b2. So yeah, you'd be done. That's all we need to do. Cool. Let's do that. Let's put that down. So 2.1. So we're assuming that a v1 equals b1 and that a v2 equals b2. Then we're looking at what a v1 plus v2 is, well, it's of course it's a v1 plus a v2 because matrix multiplication is linear, a v1 is b1, a v2 is b2, that's it. Okay. 2.2. Let a be a, let a times 2, 1, minus 1 equal 1, 2, 0, and a times minus 2, 2, 5 equal minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus as many solutions as you can to a x equals 0, 1, 1. Then some other stuff. Okay, well this probably has something to do with the previous question, so let's see, is this like the b1 and this is the b2? You add this to this, you get 0, 1, 1, yes, this is like the b1, this is the b2, this is b1 plus b2. So what we know is that this plus this will be a solution to this, okay? Are there other solutions that we could write down? We write down as many solutions as, as we can to this system. Um, we don't have, we don't have a homogeneous solution, and we can't get one because these these matrices are different. So we can't like subtract these vectors are different. So we can't subtract to get zero vector and have a homogeneous solution. That would give us different. Having a homogeneous solution would allow us to get different solutions. Yeah, we don't have that. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's just going to be one solution, and that, and then the reason why we can't, we'll not be able to determine all the solutions is because we don't have a homogeneous. The solution to the homogeneous system, ax equals zero. Okay, so we just want to add this uh, two one minus one to minus two two five, right? So we want to go a. Oops. Actually, so let me just say, by two point one, we know that the sum of those two vectors solves. What's the sum of those two vectors? 2, 1, minus 1, plus minus 2, 2, 5. It's 0, 3, 4, right? 0, 3, 4. Yes, yeah, so 0, 3, 4. By quadrant 1, 0, 3, 4. Solves ax equals, uh, what was that thing? That thing was a sum, it was 0, 1, 1. Um, we don't have any homogeneous solutions. So we can't write on any more solutions. Um, so we don't have a solution to the homogeneous version of the equation. So how do we say that? So we don't have solution to ax equals zero. So can't write down any more solutions. In fact, we can't even tell if there are any more solutions because oh, they always no, because you don't know the homogeneous. We don't know if the homogeneous equation has one solution or more. Okay, that's fine. I think uh, that's it.